a solar cell is essentially a p and diode to construct p segment and n segment we use material whose energy gap lies between 1.0 electron volt to 1.8 electron volt further this material should have high optical absorption coefficient the conductivity of this material should be high now let's come what really has been asked in this question we are supposed to explain how the emf is generated in a solar cell and also we are supposed to draw an iv characteristics okay now you see when solar radiation is incident upon the depletion layer such that h nu greater than the energy gap then it breaks covalent bonds within the depletion layer which results in the production of electron hole pair dots represent the electrons and the small circle represents the hole now you see electric field already exists within the depletion layer this electric field throws electrons within the n segment and holes into the p segment electrons are collected at end p while the holes are collected at end a because there is charge difference and hence emf is induced i am scrolling this slowly so that you could read and write yourself anyway you can also stop the video at any time to write any part of the content now let's come to the b part we are supposed to draw iv characteristic for the solar cell on the axis of x we plot v and on axis of y in fact minus y we plot i and for this case graph is in the fourth quadrant and it turns out to be a curved graph like this this point on axis of x is identified as v for the open socket and this point on the y axis is identified as i for the short circuit in fact this will be the maximum value of induced emf and this is the maximum value of that can flow through the solar cell thank you